Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions to the Bound Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to view your digital elevation model in 3D using what the RGS Pro. Right now, we have used um, the desktop version of um, RGS. Now, we want to use what the RGS Pro on today's tutorial. To show you how to view this digital elevation model we have here in 3D. So the first thing is that um, we need to create what hue shade from it. So we come down to analysis. Under analysis, we click or we select raster function. Try right? now. We are going to search for hue shade. So the input raster will be what the raster UTM. Then the hue shade type will be more directional because we need the the sun effect or maybe the effect of the sun in multi direction so that uh, we can have a better perspective in 3D of our terrain right now. Let's change the Z factor to something like five to enhance the exaggeration a bit, right? So let's create what a new layer. So this is what um, the new layer created based on what the digital elevation model right now this is the hue shade however we can still overlay like try to take the good try to take the dem at top of what the hue shade so that um, we can now reduce the transparency to about 50 percent so that we can see the hue shade alongside what are them right good so we have about 50 here good so we can see the hue shade below and then we now see what the digital elevation model overlaid on it right but so if you zoom in you are going to see that yes the hue shade effect is there and then you also see what the digital elevation model um at top of it right but overlaid on it then we now come down to creating what the 3d scene right but so to do that we come down to what view then under view we click on convert they will now say to local scene, right? Now it is loading the map in 3D. So the 3D view is up. We can take full control by clicking here, yeah, show full control. By clicking on that tab, then we can start navigating to see our map in what in 3D, right? Good. So by viewing it in 3D, you can rightly see the topology between the different features that we have on the terrain, right? But so this likely represents some lower elevation compared to what these other parts that has what a higher elevation based on the color ramp we have here, right? But so we have about um, 1,200, over 1,200, and then we have them. Um, about um, less than 200 meters, right? Good for the bluish uh, region, right? So you can use this what to control what your dam and how it is being displayed, right? Now, if you look closely, you are going to see that um, the units for our elevation is actually in feet. You can change that by coming down to map 3D, right click, come down to properties, then you see the elevation you need to fit, you just then um, change it to meters and then you are good to go, right? Good. So you no longer see the fit here, you now see the elevation you need in meters. So thanks for coming to class. We hope um, you have been able to see how to use them um, adjust pro to change or to view yeah to view your digital elevation model in 3d following the different steps that we have shown you we are going to see you on the subsequent video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye